Across Metro Atlanta, the statistics are sobering. Just 40% of the region's third grade students are reading at grade level. Even fewer eighth graders are meeting state math standards. And for every 100 students who enter ninth grade, only 37 enroll in a second year of post-secondary education. It's a regional challenge that requires a regional response. That's why eight of Metro Atlanta's largest school systems have partnered with four regional nonprofit agencies to launch Learn for Life, a collaborative approach to improving education outcomes and workforce readiness. So for the first time, Learn for Life as a collective impact strategy brings together all the regional partners focused on the critical issues related to education, not just K-12, but we like to say cradle to career. The Learn for Life Collaborative has identified six indicators to measure education success. To start, Learn for Life is focusing on third grade reading. The third grade, the third grade is a critical threshold uh, for our children. The research is very clear that that's the transition uh, from learning to read to, to reading to learn. And if that doesn't happen, if that transition doesn't take place for a student, the circumstances, the, the future uh, is significantly compromised for that child. Learn for Life has partnered with three proven initiatives that are currently working to improve literacy. As a result, more children in Metro Atlanta will get vision tests and glasses. More teachers will gain access to cutting edge literacy training and books will be incorporated into pediatric care, encouraging families to read together. Learn for Life's collective impact approach has proved successful in dozens of regions across the country. By connecting all of these things the way that Learn for Life does, we are highly likely to get long-term results for our children cradle to career. That's never happened before. We've never connected that way before. Ensuring Learn for Life success is critical to our community, but it requires that commitment, the volunteer investment, and financial investment from our business, philanthropic, and civic community. Learn for Life is one of the regional approaches that will yield for us a prosperous, vital metropolitan Atlanta region. Learn more about Learn for Life and how to get involved at l4lmetroatlanta.org. Billions of dollars are spent on health care in the Atlanta region, yet health disparity is greater today than ever before. People who live in neighboring communities, even adjacent zip codes, can experience a difference in life expectancy of up to 13 years. A wide range of factors contribute to the region's poor health rankings. Elements rarely confined to the healthcare system alone, such as access to fresh food, good jobs, and affordable housing. A shared frustration with the status quo led the Atlanta Regional Commission the Georgia Health Policy Center, the United Way of Greater Atlanta, and Kaiser Permanente of Georgia to embark upon a collaborative and holistic approach to improve health outcomes. Archie is a collaborative of over 80 organizations who are aligning their efforts, their investments, and their resources toward a unified strategy to improve health here in the Atlanta area. It's a different kind of collaboration that's needed to take a shared responsibility for a resource. And that's kind of the same thing as the concept of collective impact, that you think about how you could work together to be responsible for something and make things happen that you couldn't make happen individually. Together, Archie members have set ambitious goals that will lead to real change by 2040. It works by first focusing on specific communities. It's not necessarily just uh, from a clinical perspective. It's not doctors, it's not medication, always. It could be transportation, it could be education, it could be violence and crime, it could be housing. Ultimately, we're all reaching for the same goal of having a healthy region. As a collaborative, we believe that health is a baseline condition. It's a healthy population, a population where everyone is able to achieve well-being. That's the precursor to our economic development, to our ability to thrive as a region and maximize the opportunities of the 21st century. The 
fire broke out during rush hour. Then, a 100-foot span of I-85 that handles 243,000 passengers each day collapsed. The region's transportation agencies quickly joined forces to coordinate a response. They worked together to promote alternative commute options like transit, carpooling, and teleworking. ARC analyzed real-time traffic data to help the region's transportation agencies adapt to changing commute patterns. Greta and Marta, meanwhile, collaborated to connect park and ride lots to rail stations. We just reached out directly. There was, there was no filters, there were no layers or levels or um, bureaucracy to go through. And in a situation like that, you literally don't have time for that. We wanted to make sure that we did everything we could to help uh, with the situation that had emerged. And that began itself way before the evening of the bridge collapse. This coordinated response would not have been possible if the region's transportation leaders had not spent recent years building a new spirit of collaborative trust. It began in 2012 while planning for a regional transportation sales tax referendum. The referendum did not pass, but transportation leaders became close and continued to meet regularly. Out of those sort of, you know, being in the trenches, shoulder to shoulder, working forward on the Transportation Investment Act, it really sort of stood up that relationship and made a strong relationship that we just have continued. This culture of collaboration has helped change the political climate around transportation investment in Metro Atlanta, paying big dividends, both in new funding and expansions. Let me tell you, transit is not a Republican issue, it's not a Democrat issue, it's an economic development issue. And because of the collaboration between all the agencies coming together and showing a spirit of cooperation, the legislature is willing to, I think, invest money and, and put some skin in the game. The spirit of collaboration that began with the transportation sales tax referendum paid off with quick cooperation during the I-85 bridge collapse. As the connections grow stronger, Benefits for the region grow too. We're all in this together. We all have to work together collaboratively to solve our issues that we have. If we're not talking and if we're not working shoulder to shoulder, then we're going to lose ground.